Hey guys, I'm back. We're going to be going through the 36 product ideas that qualified for a third 2022 LEGO Ideas review. These sets will be coming out in 2024 once they are produced. We are currently waiting on a few, such as the Polaroid One-Step Camera, the Orient Express, the Tales of the Space Age, the LEGO Insects, the A-Frame Cabin, the Hocus Pocus at Sanderson Sisters Cottage, and that BTS Dynamite set that a lot of people are not too happy about. I personally think it's pretty cool, and maybe we'll get that. Anyway, let's go to our first idea. We got the Ancient Roman Temple by H.P. Brixter. It's a pretty simple build. It's kind of like a little bit modular-esque, like a half a modular. I would imagine people that are Roman or Greek would like this sort of a thing. Personally, I'm kind of surprised LEGO Ideas agreed to it. Because it's a temple, even though it's ancient. But kind of cool, I doubt it makes it because of that aspect. Although they are trying to do more ancient things like the Pyramids of Giza, the Colosseum, the Eiffel Tower, a couple of things that are older byproducts. So I could see it, but unlikely. Next we have a very cool Castle Dracula by Ian Ha. Very talented designer. Zoom in here, you can see on the back, it's kind of like a dollhouse you build. And it folds into here, you can see it opens up. And if you turn it around, now it looks extra big. I don't think they'll make it just because they do have those older sets, like the Haunted House that came out a few years ago. And this is very similar, and also they have their own modular line. So I don't think they'd really use that to Ideas platform to make it, which is a strong belief of mine. I'm not sure if other people agree or not, but LEGO Ideas does not tend to make a lot of modular builds out through that just as they have their own. So there are some, but very little, like the Great Fishing Store, I guess maybe consider the Sesame Street set, but we'll see. I don't think they'd really make any. And the Brooklyn Designer Program recently had like 9 or 11 or something modulars. And I would imagine they would go through there instead of through the LEGO Ideas line. Next up, we got by LEGO Truman. This is fine based off of that, I think it's a meme, right? Or is it from a show? I'm not sure. But it's a dog sitting in the house and keeps telling himself, this is fine, this is fine, even though the whole house is burning down. I like it a lot, but it doesn't really fit into anywhere. It's kind of cool things you can stick on a shelf. But besides that, I mean, no really use for it. I would probably buy it if it was like 20, 30 bucks. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't think Legally Ideas is going to make that just because a lot of people don't know what it is. And even people that do know what it is don't really have any use for it as Lego fans. So, I would say not likely. Next up, we have one of our more likely builds, the Pac-Man Moving Display by Light Bricks. It like goes up and down, you could switch them around. I think this is very cool, you got the ghost chasing Pac-Man. I would put this up as one of the most likely sets, just because LEGO, I think, would make another video game set. This matches with a bunch of their older video game sets that they're now making. And it's a good idea. I like it. It has like an electronic play feature, it's a good model. Fits a lot of their boxes. In the end of the video, I'll go back and just review the most likely of my opinion, but I would put this towards the more likely sets. Next up, we have an amazing model with one downside, Pixar's Up House with Balloons by Vaco. I like this idea a lot. They've submitted lots of different ones. Over the past, there's been a bunch, and they've all gone like 10k and then rejected, and honestly, I've seen like the upcoming possible leaks for LEGO and whatever. And there is an up house rumored for like $50. So I'd be very surprised if they would make this. I would love this. The characters look great. He built them great. I love the set. But I mean, look at all those balloons. It's amazing. But if they're coming out with one, they're not going to come out with a second one. I just really hope that they don't make a micro scale like the Haunted Mansion or just like cut off all the balloons on their official set. But whether that Lego makes this through their own line or through the Ideas line, this is a set that everybody's been wanting for years based off this amazing movie. And I just hope their model looks good also. Next up, we have another one called The Lost City by let.sgo. So I guess it's Let's Go. Let Go. And honestly, it's kind of cool, but not really my drift. Obviously, it's a mock of some sort of like a lost city broken down a bit. I think they're cooler ones. I don't really think LEGO is going to make something like this through their line. And yeah, I'd say not likely at all. Next up, we have another cool one. The Japanese Courtyard Garden 
by Coffee Panda. I think it was cool. I'm not exactly sure how it works. I guess you put it in between two modular buildings. But, I mean, I don't know. There's been a bunch of cool ones. Someone I remember, like, last year had a full park extension. I've seen, like, lakes, like, as a river going through with a little bridge over it that you could attach in between modulars. And those got rejected also, so I don't see why this would be any different. And then next we have the Travel Suitcase by Brick Dangerous. This is really cool and it has a bunch of those cards that you can stick on the suitcase. It opens up and it's the castles and the whole f cool scenes in the background. And it, I like it a lot. Reminds me of that pop-up book, kind of. Just similar, like, um, set design. But it's a massive set. I mean, I don't know. I just don't see Lego making something like that right now. So I would say, I guess, like, unlikely. Next up, we got one of the bigger models, the BOTW Temple of Time by Lego Overwatch. And there's a Le Legends of Zelda set. I didn't know that until I looked at the description. And here we'll swing around to the back. It's basically really broken down. It's very cool. I like it a lot, but it's like absolutely massive. And there have been so many great Legends of Zelda sets proposed by Lego Ideas members. Uh, this is a really cool one, don't get me wrong. It's just. I don't know, Lego's re rejected them so many times. I just don't feel like this is going to be it that gets finally approved. Next up, we got the Right Flyer by Mine Bricks. Really good idea. I think this will be made. Personally, this is one of my top picks to be made. I don't know if I would buy it, but you got those two Wright brothers there with a little plaque. You got the big plane, the Wright plane, right, Wright Flyer. And it is big. That's my main concern with it. So if Lego would make it, I feel like they would downgrade it a lot because that's like a $140 set right there. I think they would want it to be more of like the $50 range maybe even. I think it'd be cool if they made it into like one of those Amelia Earhart sets, that gift with purchase. So if they downscaled it to like a $20 set like that, that'd be a really great set. I'd buy that. So I don't know if they would downsize it. Yeah, I could see them making it for sure. But if they don't want to, then I don't see them making it. It's just very big. Next up, we got the classic Thunderbirds by Andrew Clark too. I do not know what the Thunderbirds are. I remember I saw some game with it or whatever. I know it's a show or a movie. This looks really good, though. Really well rendered, really popping colors and everything. I could see Lego making this. It looks like good price point, like a $60 set, maybe. I don't know what it is. I don't know enough information on it. I'm guessing it's very popular because they get 10,000 votes. So if it is a popular enough theme, then, yeah, I could definitely see Lego making that. Very well done, well polished design. I wouldn't personally buy it, but I do think that's very cool. And I believe I've seen it before, so maybe there's a resubmission. I'm not sure. Next up, we got by Tony's My Uncle, JWST, which, if you don't know what that is, was the James Webb Space Telescope. It's the world's groundbreaking new space telescope, a collaboration between NASA, ESA, and CSA, right? This is a very big model. It's roughly to scale with a minifigure. Very cool, it's just really big, and LEGO has made space sets in the past. I think they would make it through their own creator theme or whatever with that Apollo set and that spaceship, but very cool idea. I wouldn't personally buy it. I don't really like the size and the shape and the colors and everything of it. It doesn't interest me much as much as the rocket or whatever, but it got 10,000, so I guess a lot of people like it. For the reason that LEGO does make their own space stuff, I would assume it's not going to be made. Next up, we got the Golden Clifftop Temple by First Order Luca. Really cool model. For some reason, it reminds me of the Heavenly Realms by Lego Monkey Kid, the theme. And very nice build. I like the mountaintops. I like the whole just architecture and scenic view and everything. Got the clouds in the bottom. Very pretty design. It's big. I don't know if Lego would make it for that reason. And it does seem similar to that Monkey Kid set, at least to me, maybe not to everybody else. Let me know in the comments. Maybe it's just me. But I would like it if Lego made it. And I don't really think they will due to those reasons. And, but it's possible. I would say middle, probably more on the unlikely side, though. Wasn't sure what this was, so I'll redo the description. Cypher Machine is a fun mechanical encryption device that uses a carefully designed substitution cipher allowing the encoding of any message and then converting it back to the original message later the left wheel is always the input and the right wheel is always the output so you always read left to right 
whether you're encoding or decoding. Encoding and decoding are equally as fast because you only ever search for letters on the alphabetically ordered left wheel. So the person gives you an example. When you line it up, if you enter hi there on the left, it becomes W-F-R-I-Y-C-N-C -C on the right. That's the secret message you send, and then you just have to decode it, obviously, right? So it's a cool idea. It's practical. If kids want to have fun. It's a fun game you could play. But I don't know. I don't really see Lego making it. I guess it's possible. It's a cool design. I know it was, and I think it's pretty cool by Norders. Definitely wouldn't say likely to be made, but I'd put it around the middle. Probably not, though. Now we got the legendary Mockingbird. Sewer heroes fighting the fat bird. I love Lot Mockingbird, friends with him, right? And he made another great build. It's one of these half builds, right? So you got like the floor level and then you go under into the sewer, right? So here he shows you can connect it to other modular streets. Here's the back of it. Pretty nice. You got the pipe. I like the pipe how it runs through and it goes into the house and everything. And you can take that out. And yeah, so you can connect it right in between those modulars if you want to have a high level. And also you got that nice, beautiful truck there with the pumping. I like it a lot. I like how it's broken open. I don't know how practical it is for Lego ideas terms. Just, I mean, it's kind of like a modular, but it's kind of not because it's underground. I like it. I would be happy if Lego made this. Maybe I'd buy it. But I don't really think that they have this in their arsenal to make. So probably unlikely, but I'd put it more in the middle. Definitely more than the average modular. Next up, we got another similar style build. The London Underground by Lego Overwatch again. Number 16, by the way. So you got the train station. It's going underground right in London. I like it. I don't like it as much as the sewer one, but it's very cool build. I don't really think LEGO would make that one as much as it's more of a modular. The other one was broken open, and you can tell it's obviously focusing on the underground part with the trunk pumping. This is more of a actual building with a train station, or train underground, rather. So for that reason, I'd say probably unlikely or maybe just a tier under the sewer one. Next one's a very interesting one. It's the Architect's House by, again, Let's Go, right? And I like it. I like these very modern style houses. Obviously, it has like, a, it has like this waterfall going through the house, it looks like. I don't think Lego will make it, but I like it a lot. And then next we got Community by Bulldozer, the legendary Bulldozer, right? I mean, my gosh, this guy is an absolute legend. So, obviously, based off the very famous show, he's got a bunch of other sets. He got this one recently, the Family Tree, that got approved. This is a, a gift of purchase in the future. This was already a previous gift of purchase he won. This is a not approved idea, the Avatar, Illuminate World of Pandora. He's previously tried getting the community in that got not approved, and he obviously made the Sesame Street. And Sesame Street, I think, to me, is proof, like, in this set was massive, right? This would have been, like, a $300... Home Alone style set. And this really shows you what Lego Ideas is, that sometimes they will take an idea, even though, though it's nothing really like the final product, right? Like the final product for this is $120, is half the size, would have been like a third of the price, right? And they'll accept something sometimes, and they'll totally recreate it. And sometimes for the better, I, I like this a lot, it's like a playhouse, but... I mean, they do do it sometimes. So some stuff is possibly likely if they do reserve that option to re totally redo it. Anyway, back to the main idea of the community set. So I think it's possible that they make it if it's far enough partitioned from the office set and that fr second friend set and the Seinfeld set and all those sets. I mean, Lego has been coming out, a lot of, out with a lot of these sitcom show sets lately or these comedy show la sets lately. So if they do deem it further for enough further enough from those sets, then I could see them making it. But if not, then they definitely won't make it and they push it off to maybe in a year or two after that. Although, do keep in mind that these sets are coming out in 2024, so you got a while. So it is possible by that time the office will already be an older set and slow down a ton. So it's possible I will approve this one. I put it in the middle. Not like super high on it, not super low on it though. Anyway, next up we got something that was taken down, meaning that there's only 35. The Never Ending Story, the 40th Anniversary by Facebrick Up. 
So I guess the licensors took it away, but here's another one by him, the old Western train station. Very cool set. Western, I love Western sets, right? You got the long train station, you got that cart that goes in the tracks. Very cool set. But my main concern is Bricky Brick made a set a couple of years ago now, I guess. And that did not get approved. It got to 10,000. But the problem was that they sent it to the Bricklink Designer Program. And they thought it would blow out, I guess, then get a lot of votes. And that would obviously be a very easy chance to be made. Except it didn't. It's called Brick West Studios. It was more of a movie set, though, of a Western. It was a saloon. But... I guess it may, might have been just due to the price. It was like evaluated at like $280. But I wonder if Lego takes a look at this and gets a little bit nervous and doesn't make it because of that. But if they don't, then I think this is also likely your set. Next up, we got a very intriguing set, The Zoo by Coglevog. And I mean, not a whole lot to say here. We got a bunch of different themes. You got the big cage up there. You got to have people walk across the habitat. You got some like snow there. Cool. I'm not sure how Lego would fit this in. It's kind of like modular I think Again, an attachment that you can stick in between the modulars. For that reason, I think it's cool, but I'm not sure if Lego would do it because of that. I'm not sure how well done it is in that aspect also of just organiza organization. So I would say it's in the middle, but probably lower half of being made. And now, drumroll please. We get, for my opinion, the most likely set. Jaws by Diving Faces. Really good boat. Great looking set. We got the big shark there. My main reasons for thinking this set would be made is just logic because LEGO did have the Jaws as an idea in the Brickheads. It was recently, well not recently, like a year ago when that poll was up to make the 150th Brickhead which ended up being the Ahsoka. But Jaws was an option and was previously not allowed on the website I guess due to the violence of the film. And for that reason, I would think that they are open to making this set, and it's really well done shark, really well done boat. I could see them making it as like an $130 set, similar to that Viking ship. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but I like it a lot. It's probably my most likely set that I think would be made. Next up, we got the Modular Arcade by Vila Brick. Really well done. I like it. Fits in as a corner modular. They have came out with a bunch of those lately, but I do like it. My problem is, again, it's a modular. Does LEGO make modulars, especially more regular ones like that? Probably not. So I would say very unlikely. But props looks great. Next we got House of Open Shutters by Lucas Data. Again, it's more of a building, massive build for like a little house. So if you read the description, it's inspired by a house in the region of Poland, specifically Hodlis. And it's a beautiful old wooden houses with hand-painted shutters. The region is commonly known as the Land of Open Shutters. So it does look cool. I like the roofing pattern. Pretty shutters. Pretty, very scenic. The problem is, again, it's a modular and uses up a massive base plate. So if they would make it, they'd cut off the whole base plate, I would think. And it's well done. I think the person built it out of hand. It opens up kind of like that A-free cabin. It flips open the tops. But I don't think it's likely to be made just due to those modular features of it. Next up, we have another interesting one, Cat by The Yellow Brick. Not too much to say on here. Pretty basic set. You got a little bone there. You got a cup of milk. You got your cat. A lot of people have cats. So I guess it would make sense if Lego make it. They have been coming out with those medium-sized animals, though, lately. Like the crocodile the three, through 3 and 1. They, they came out the bunny rabbit January 1st. They had that tiger, obviously, that I need to get. And I wonder if Lego would just go and make a smaller cat and put it through that 3-in-1 license instead of wasting an idea spot. Or not wasting, but using an idea spot through here. I would say that's my main concern, so I'd put it on the more unlikely, but I would still keep it in the middle just due to it being a very well-built animal. If you like Taylor Swift, you might know this one, but it's Lover House by Frilly Badger 084 from her music video. It's been done to millions, right? I personally recognize it. I do not listen to her too much. And it's pretty cool, but to me, I don't really want it. They were coming at that BTS, which is a smaller set, like movie set that they had in the music video. That's much more preferable to me with all those figures. I'd much rather that than this, which is just the big house, which is obviously very cool to 
Swift fan, Swift user, or whatever, but I don't know if me or to the average Lego fan would probably not want it at all. So I'd say probably definitely on the lower half. I could see them making more music themed artist sets after the BTS set releases, after they have knowledge of how well it sold and whatever. But by the time they choose these, I don't think the set will be out long enough if it comes out at all, the BTS set to have that knowledge, so I doubt they would make it. Next up, we got Jack Skellington's House by Largo23. Okay, I gotta say, this is probably my second favorite one. I love the techniques, amazing techniques, like, really, really good. And I would put this probably at number two likeliest for being made. My main concerns are, obviously, the fact that there have been a bunch that have been rejected in the past. This is probably the best one that I've seen, though. I mean, like, look at that, the moon, the, the the way that curl goes, the figures, just the placement. It looks really, really good with all the curves and the building techniques you see on the bottom of your screen there. You see the wall, the gate. It all looks very cool. I could see Lego making this a Halloween-y type set, and I don't celebrate Halloween, but I would actually probably want to buy it, even though I never even watched the movie. And then next, we got the Clock Tower Park by Jiwoo. I think it's really cool, but again, it's more of a modular type of build. It's less modular because it's not as big as one, but it's the same style as one, so for that reason, I would say probably not, to be honest. It is cool. It's probably one of the cooler ones that's like a modular themed one, but I just don't think LEGO's going in that direction when they have their own line. They'd rather not give away the 1% and use that idea spot. Next up, we got the Alpine Refugee by the Castle Fam. Really good log cabin. I'm going to be totally honest right here. Here, look at this image for one second. It reminds me exactly of it, just in the opposite direction. So, I don't know how to feel about that. They did make that Winter Chalet through the Bricklink Designer Program this past year. And I don't know if they copied it or if not. Either way, it's cool. It would definitely be a cool companion. Kind of like, I only see it during the two different seasons. Maybe that's what the guy was going for. But I don't really see Lego making it when they're coming out with that Winter Chalet through, through the Bricklink Designer Program. And it's a modular, so again, I don't really think modulars have a great chance to being made. Next up, we got another intriguing one, Mechanical Flip Clock by Serials Bricks and Pets. My main problems with this one are that it is pretty large, and it works, right? So you flip it. It's one of those types of flip clocks, which is cool. But at the same time, I'm not sure how Open Lego would be open to me making that, right? It's kind of like a off Lego idea. It's like something you would put on your desk at your work or whatever. And I do applaud it for that. It's very cool. It has those like type of pieces that flip. It has a motor attached to it, right? So you just spin it and it works. But I'm not really sure if Lego would make this. I would probably actually want to buy it. It's kind of cool just for my desk. The only thing is it is very big. So I don't know if I have room for something like that. I have like a tiny clock as it is or my watch or whatever. So I'm not sure. I'd probably stick it onto the more unlikely side, but I could see Lego going for it maybe. Next up, we got the Japanese castle. Again, my Lego Overwatch. Like how many is that? Three or four? Another really good. Again, it's modular-esque. It's nice though because it does have like a front build, meaning it comes out. It's not on a square base plate, but rather it's on like a brick built like not even sized one that's more of let's say like a circle but a distorted circle and i don't really think lego make it to be honest it is really cool though and yeah not too much else to say on it next model though the wizard's retreat is next by farm farm again this is another cool build but I'm not, i just don't know if lego would make this i feel like they make bring back their old forest man or whatever theme Again, just to make something like that as opposed to playing with three ideas, but maybe not. I guess it could be if they rebrand it, but I just don't know how likely that is. Honestly, kind of mixed. I don't really want this one specifically, but it kind of would fit Lego, but at the same time it wouldn't, so I'm not sure. I'd probably put it towards the middle or more unlikely, though. Next up, we got Wallace and Gromit by Vico. Obviously, this is sort of a modular. Again, it's not on that base plate, it doesn't look like. So, I guess you can't consider it one, but it is one, let's be honest, right? It's got his car there. Very cool set. My main problem is they had an amazing Wallace and Gromit one, maybe last year. 
and that was like a model of him and his dog, right, Wallace and Gromit, and a bunch of other things, like the goat, the cow, whatever, and a bunch of his machines, and that one did not get approved, it got 10,000, so I don't see why this is any better, the other one was basically perfection, so I don't see how you could beat it with this, and I would personally rather the other model, so I hope LEGO wouldn't make this, I'd hope they would go back and make the other one if the guy resubmits it, but I just don't see LEGO making it after turning down that other one. And then next up, we got Fantozy Takes the Bus on the Fly by Nastronada. Again, really nice building. This is not a modular, it doesn't look like. It looks like it's more of like a one setback house. I do like it. I think it's based off of the iconic sequence from the Italian comedy movie Fantasy, 1975. It represents the main character trying to get on the bus on the fly, but then he fails, but it seems very funny, right? It's like, if you want to go watch it, you can watch that scene, look up, look up Fantasy on the bus on the fly, but I'm not really sure. I never heard of the movie before, so I don't know how likely it is. It appeals to me just as a Lego build, but I guess it does have a large enough audience. I'm not aware of any, but obviously there are some. It got 10,000, so I don't know. If you're a big fan of it, let me know in the comments, but not sure I've never heard of it before, so we'll have to see, but I would put it for, probably towards the more unlikely, but I'd stick it more in the middle, so maybe stick it a little bit towards the more likely of the middle. Next up, we got Willow, Battle of Tyr Esteen. This is an interesting idea. You'll see why in a second. It seems to transform it into a couple of different styles of builds that kind of, you got to recreate it into different things. So here you got the, the figures with the good and whatever. They have plaques, which I like. You have more figures here. So you have the back. You could open up like this. Or you could rebuild it. And it'll look something like this. Then you have another option to make it like this. Which might be my favorite. Unless it's a different angle. I can't even tell honestly. Then you got this which opens up wide. Then you got this smaller build. With the dragon over there. Then you got another. I guess this is a different angle. Or maybe this is again another thing. Again Lego did come out with that classic castle so I'm not sure how quick they're running to do another castle I'm not sure what this is based off I mean it says obviously Willow so I guess there's a show or a movie or a book called Willow but I've never heard of it if you've heard of it let me know in the comments tell me if it's good maybe I'll read it or watch it but I'm not really sure I don't really think it's likely to get made just based off the fact that I don't know what it is but it's possible if it is a famous thing I could have just not heard of it so we'll see I would say more unlikely as they did come out with that classic castle and they have the three in one castle, so I would say probably unlikely. Next up, you might see that line across, me wondering what that is. Well, it's a dog um, fun park, right? So you got a bunch of different games you could play with them fetch the ball, jump over the obstacles, get through the tunnel, climb it through the poles, run through the ramp, right? Run across the ramp. So here I'll describe them through the description that when you fetch it you can throw the ball then spin the wheel with the purple handle to collect it jump over the obstacles as you move the yellow handle and push it at the right moment get through the tunnel as you rotate the red handle to get through more quickly climbing through the poles move the magenta handle and follow the curvature of the track run through the ramp use the blue handle to compress the spray right and then release it and that's how you run through it so very cool, underrated, very interesting idea. I like it. Lego in the past has not made these very mechanically ones, like the water the not the water slide, the waterfall and that bowling alley. They have not made. So I'm not sure why this would be different, but it is a cool model. So I'd say probably unlikely. Anyway, anyway, just a quick review. I think the community might be likely. Depends, but the main ones were the jaws being the most likely. And then also the others, such as the right plane, if they would downscale it, I think that is a pretty likely one. The Pac-Man one, I think, is pretty likely. And the Skeleton House. Honestly, I could see LEGO only accepting one or two of these sets. It wasn't the best of waves compared to other ones. There's great ones in the next wave that's coming. And they have been stingy and then unstingy and then stingy again with these waves. So I could see it going either way. Remember to subscribe, please, if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so much. Like the video if you liked it. If you skipped around, thanks for staying. If you did watch the entire video, it's amazing. Thank you so much. Have a great day.
Bengals bricks. <laughs>